Hello everybody. We are going to try another video for you and I hope you like it. <clears throat> this is a Troy built four stroke sidewalk edger and <clears throat> we bought this a couple years back in order to do some maintenance in our yard that we wanted to do other than edge a sidewalk. Let me show you what I've done here. This is the edging blade that comes along with this particular unit and again like I said it's made for running down the edge of your sidewalk and chopping up the, the uh, weeds and things that's in there to get them out of your way. What I've done is replace this with carbide skill saw blades. I have two of these blades on here. I don't know if you can see as well as I would like you to. But there's two blades here. I separated them with a uh, washer in the middle of it and this is a 5 8 arbor so I didn't have to do anything to this other than put the blades on. When this is grinding along the edge of the stump that I want to take out, these carbide tips, if you do get into some dirt or, or rocks or anything like that, not that you want to uh, gouge it down into the ground, but it does help them stay sharp and they really will uh, grind a stump pretty quick for you. Again, this is a four-stroke motor, so it takes regular gasoline. You don't have to mix anything with it. Uh, as well as, your pull rope is up here where it's convenient for you. This is your shut-off switch, as well as your throttle and clutch. <coughs> uh, it is extremely de easy to use. It's actually fun to do. And I think you're going to enjoy the demonstration of what I'm going to try to do for you. And that's what we're going to do next. This, this uh, tool is extremely light, about just a little heavier than a weed eater. And <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to take my lawn chair out, set it up next to the stump that I want to grind. And I always rest my foot down in, on this wheel so I can have this go along the uh, edge of the stump that we're trying to move out. So that way I can control how this rotates. And I just simply rotate it back and forth until I get the stump down to where I want to leave it below grade or, or just simply trimming the tops of them off. And then <clears throat> it's just that simple. Let's do a demonstration and see how we do. All right guys, we're out in the yard and what I have here is a pretty good sized root that has grown up all over the years and every time I mow my grass the lawnmower deck wants to catch on this <coughs> so what I want to do is shave this down a little bit so the next time I'm mowing grass the lawnmower deck will just slide right over the top of it and I'm going to demonstrate this uh, stump grinder for you and hopefully we'll be able to see everything it's doing What I like to do here is I always like to start at the beginning and we are going to work our way across to right about in this area. I always bring a lawn chair with me so I can sit down and I'm going to rest my foot against this back wheel and at this point I'm going to go ahead and let this front wheel down so this my blades can make contact. And that should be all we have to do. Let's we'll start it up and get started.
just that simple. I always will put my wheels back up when I'm done working here. That way again I'm protecting the blades as well as not scratching any any trailer I would set this machine in. And then it also makes it easier to roll along. Now I can push it wherever I need to go. So again construction grade carbide tip blades fits directly on the arbor. I put seven and a quarter inch blades on here. You could have went to an eight and a half and up to a nine inch if they make them. I don't know if they make nine inch blades or not. But the uh, blade, the etching, or um, uh, yes, the etching blade that come along with this is a nine inch blade, so it will take up to a nine inch blade for this particular unit. And it works better than you'd ever think it would. These two blades has been on here for probably, as long as you don't get down in the dirt, rocks or things like that. Uh, these two blades have been on here since we started grinding stumps. I haven't had to replace them yet. Let's see if we can get a close-up of what we have going on there now. As you can see, we just moved right across. And you can take that all the way below ground level if you choose to. And again, I'm just sitting in a lawn chair and actually I enjoy doing it. It's something that's fun to do and it's quick work. You can actually get back and see what you've done pretty quick. And again, you can grind them as flat as you choose to and if, if the circumference of the um, 
stump that you're grinding out is pretty good size, I always work from the back moving forward and, and then start the process all over again until I get it down to the depth I want it. And like I said, you can see that's um, that's enough for the lawnmower. Won't be catching the lawnmower deck on it anymore. <clears throat> and if you don't go too deep through the root, you're not going to harm the tree. Now, if you cut the root in two, obviously, then you run danger of possibly killing your tree. And this particular cherry tree, I really want to stay for a while. It's beautiful in the springtime when it blooms out. So I don't want to harm the tree, I, but I want to protect my lawnmower as well. All right, we're going to go back inside and we will finish this video up and then I'm going to send it to you guys and you'll see what you think. for you to see what this thing is capable of doing. Again, this is a Troy built. It's a four-stroke engine, so you don't have to mix fuel. Uh, picked this up at Lowell's uh, for under $200. The blades, construction grade, circular saw blades, seven and a quarter up to no more than nine inches, fits directly on the arbor. And again, I put two blades on in order to grind a little faster on the stumps but there's a washer separating them to give me just a little gap of a distance to make this thing work just a little more effectively. Simple to operate and how great is it that we can share information like this uh, <clears throat> with each other and help each other out because we checked on renting a stump grinder and for four hours in our location uh, a small stump grinder was about $400 for an eight hour day, you could get it for just $600. And it probably will grind the, the stumps farther down into the ground and quicker. However, maneuverability of the machine was going to be cumbersome. This thing I can just put on my trailer, uh, go back as I'm mowing grass. If I see something that I need to clean up, I can stop and clean it up in just a few minutes and it's done. So I hope this video has been great for you guys. And if so, hit that like button for us. Hopefully we can keep this thing moving forward. Uh, we definitely appreciate you subscribing. And to all of you out there, have a good evening. Thank you.